So, dear students, so today we'll be going through the upthrust and then its problem in physics. Okay, so I'll be sharing the PDF now. I think you'll be able to see the PDF clearly. Correct. So, coming to what is upthrust, correct? There is basically the upward force exerted on a body with a fluid in which it is submerged is called the upthrust of the buoyant force. Okay. So the upward force exerted by a body, by the fluid, in which suppose if you are uh, falling to a swimming pool or any, uh, let's take in any water body like the lake or something. So first thing is the water will push us up. Yeah, correct? Yes, so that is basically my upthrust. So based on this concept in the Archimedes principle, we'll be trying to do some problems. So that will be asked for the examination. Yes. So the first question, a body weighs 200 GF in air and 190 when completely immersed in water, calculate the loss in weight of the body in water. Okay. So in air, what is the weight 200 correct and 190 in when water loss of weight is what 10 common sense 200 minus 10 then what is upthrust 10 grams so upthrust is basically what the loss in weight of the body yes next one a small stone of mass is held under water in a tall jar and is allowed to fall as shown in the figure. The force acting on the stone are what? Correct. So force is always dependent on the acceleration to gravity and always uh, we know the formula what is F is equal to MA or MG. Correct. So what does this force F2 represent? So it's going upward. So upthrust. Okay. Yes. M1 is what basically? The mass of the body. In the sense, the mass of the water displaced by the stone in this particular. So mass of the body. Body here is basically the stone. The stone here. Next is net force. So net force is, see, if you can see one force is moving down, other force is moving up. So it's both are moving in opposite direction. So F2 minus F1. So G into M1 minus M. That you can do it here. That is F1 minus F2. Okay, F1 minus F2. So it doesn't matter if there is a negative sign involved in it. If you, if you want, you can get F2 minus F1. So they're not going to cut any mark for this. Next, fourth question. What is the acceleration of the stone as it falls through the water? Neglect the force due to viscosity. So viscosity or viscous force meaning so, if I pour water on the floor, correct? If I'm pouring a water on the floor and if I'm pouring honey on the floor, which will move faster? Obviously, the water, right? Honey, it will flow, but it, the motion will be less compared to the water, correct? So, ability to resist, that is called viscous force, meaning. So, viscosity is what? Whose ability is of motion is resisting honeys? So, that is having more Viscous or viscous force is more in honey or viscosity is more in honey. So I hope you understand what is viscosity. So they're given the volume of the stone is 80, density of water and acceleration to gravity is used. Direct substitution here. Correct. Density is nothing but what? Mass by volume. So if you don't know, I'll just draw it for you. Put here D, this is my M, this may be so density. D is nothing but density. This is my mass, this is my M, okay, and this is my volume. Density is nothing but what mass by volume. So, what is my mass? Density into volume, density into volume. This into this. If it is density, it is mass by volume, mass by volume. Density is mass by volume, mass is density into volume. 
so directly with the triangle you'll be able to get it so just to remember always remember what is on the top part of the triangle mass correct other thing you fill it d and b hold it. you'll easily get it so which already we got it and always write it in the si unit this kilogram represented kilo. so how to convert gram to kilogram divided by thousand that's it and then the upthrust upthrust is what f2 is equal to this f2 they're talking m1 into g once you calculated the mass just multiply so 0.8 newton hence net downward force that is basically f1 minus f2 so f1 is what mass into actually to gravity so 0.2 into 10 2 this one i'm getting what what is the f2 0.8 newton so 2 minus 0.8 the bigger one if i'm doing f2 minus f1 i'll be getting negative correct so to avoid negative i'm just taking f1 minus f2 okay and then what is my acceleration force by mass f is equal to ma again do a trick triangle you will get it what is the one what is on the top f is equal to ma you will get this one also. so what is acceleration force by m f by m so always remember what is there on the top so once you substitute it you will get it the mass is nothing but the mass of the student is 0.2 kg clear i hope you are clear with this also Third one, a piece of iron of density 7.8 into 10 cube and volume 100, it is immersed in water. So the same concept, everywhere it is some, either the stone or a piece of iron or something is very immersed. Calculate the weight of the iron piece in air. Correct. Hmm? Where is the iron piece in air? Density is given, volume is given. Correct. Simple thing. Then second one is the uptrust and third thing is the apparent weight of the matter. So again, draw what density is nothing but put that triangle, put M, put D, put V. So what is mass is equal to density into volume? So what is volume? Mass by density. Correct? Yes. Now what is volume of the iron piece given here? 100 centimeter cube. So first convert it into meter cube. Okay, to convert centimeter to meter, multiply by 10 power minus 2. To convert centimeter to meter, con multiply by 10 power minus 2. So here 10 power minus 2 the whole cube. So 10 power minus 6. That's how I mean 10 power minus 6 here. And this is basically 100 is 10 square. 10 square into to 2 minus 6, I'll get minus 2. That's it. Now coming to the weight. Correct. What is my weight mass? Mass is density into volume. Correct. With respect to air. Air in the sense I have to include acceleration to gravity. So everything is given. Just substitute and get the answer. 7.8 in 10 cube is already given in the question. Density. That I am substituting in place of density. Clear. Up thrust. The formula is volume of the water displaced into density of water into gravity. Into gravity. Correct. So, volume of the water displaced. Correct. What is volume of the water displaced? That is basically equal to the volume of the iron piece. That is 10 power minus 4. So, so, put 10 power minus 4. Correct. And density of water given in the question. 1000 kilogram. Put 1000. Acceleration you to get it, put as 10. 1 newton. Simple as that. So, this also we got. Any other thing? Third, apparent weight. Apparent weight is nothing but true weight minus upthrust. So true weight is 7.8 and upthrust is what? 1 Newton. Always remember that upthrust value will be always less than the true weight. Okay, suppose if we are getting upthrust value more than uh, 7.8, we have done some mistakes in the answer. So that also we have to. Next one. A metal cube of side 5 and density. 7.9 gram per centimeter cube is suspended by a thread and is immersed completely in liquid of density 1.1. Calculate the weight of the cube. So we know that volume of the cube is what? Meter cube. Correct. A cube. X cube. What is the cube is basically what? A cube. X cube and all. Correct. So what is side of the cube? Pi cube. Correct. Again draw triangle. What is the triangle? Under a triangle here only. 
density correct top top is mass mass is density into volume first thing i have to find weight weight is what mass is density into volume you need not even write this step we can directly substitute everything here volume x cube or a cube side cube phi cube is 125 density the given gram per centimeter cube gram per centimeter cube so mass unit is what gram volume is what meter cube or centimeter cube correct so gram by meter cube that is gram per centimeter or minus 3 then you'll be getting in terms of what the grams everything is in grams here okay yeah so i got weight of the cube is 987.5 grams now up thrust of the cubes same formula weight of the liquid displaced that is basically what volume of the cube 125 and then what is the density of the liquid density of the liquid is given as what 1.1 Correct and into gravity. Into gravity. So this GFG is nothing but the gravity. Okay. That you can just substitute and you will get the answer. Tension in the thread. So 987 minus 137.5. That's all. Tension is nothing but what stress. Correct. Obviously, uh, thread carrying a cube or something, it will have some tension, right? That is stress. So what is the tension? So that is basically weight of the cube minus up thrust of the cube, weight 50. Now let's see this question. Yes. This one. A solid of density rho. Correct. Show that apparent weight will be what? W in 1 minus rho L by rho. Rho meaning density. When it is completely immersed in liquid of density rho L. Again rho triangle. The triangle I think you can see here. Yes. Mass. dV. Volume is what? Mass by density. Correct? Yes. Yes. So, again, mass is mass of solid is basically what W by G, the formula. So, volume of liquid displaced is equal to what volume of the solid. So, this is my volume of the liquid displaced. Up thrust, same formula. Volume of the liquid displaced, density of the liquid into acceleration to gravity. Gravity is G. Thrust everything, whatever we didn't say in uh, previous question. Previous questions were all in terms of numbers. This is in terms of variables. Correct? So, G and G will get cancelled. G and G is getting cancelled here. W by G and G is there, no? This G and this G will get cancelled. Then apparent weight is in true weight minus a thrust. So, I will be getting the same formula with this. True weight is W weight. Correct? Weight is, weight is W. Mass of the solid with respect to gravity. W by G. So that's it. So once you're getting it, you will be getting the so for this.